Hi everyone, I'm Chira from Adelante and today we'll talk about Zendesk reports. Let's dive in. Here on Zendesk reports, we have all these different tabs. Our first tab is ticket. On this tab, you'll see data about your tickets. Number of created tickets, unsolved tickets, solved tickets, the percentage of tickets that were solved by one response, and the percentage of reopened tickets. You should know how to use filters. Time, which helps you define the relevant dates for the received data. The other filters are ticket group, brand, channel, form, submitter role, and requester organization. Here are tickets created by hour. The hours presented refer to the time you chose on the time filter. This report shows the average of tickets created by day of the week. Here you can see tickets created by day and tickets solved by day combined. The following two reports rely on the filter you choose. It shows you the number and percentage of tickets depending on your chosen filters. For example, tickets divided by channels. The lower reports refer to a date as well. The last report shows us how many tickets were created by months and years. Moving on to the next tab, Efficiency. The filters are the same. Here you can see first reply time median, first resolution time median, full resolution time median, group stations average, and assign stations average. On the left, it's time to first reply, and on the right, it's time to full resolution. This graph compares between first reply time to first assignment time. You can choose time parameters here. And this one shows us the comparison between the full resolution time to the requester wait time. Tickets by agent replies brackets. Tickets divided by numbers of replies needed to solve them. And tickets by group station brackets. Tickets divided to how many groups helped solve them. This is an interesting one. A comparison between the average of agents replies to the number of tickets sold in a day. The left graph presents the average of stations per ticket over time. On the assigning activity tab, you'll find information about your agent's work. You already know these filters. Here you can see the number of solved tickets, request a wait time median, assignment resolution time, percentage of tickets solved by one reply, and percentage of tickets solved by two replies. Good versus bad satisfaction tickets and tickets by requester wait time brackets. Another interesting one, comparison between the requester satisfaction score to his wait time. This table gives you a deeper look into your agent's activity. You can see all the information about each of your agents separately. On the agents update, you also get information about your agents. Filters, number of public comments, internal comments, tickets commented, tickets solved, and tickets created. Go to this graph to see the number of comments by date separated to public and internal comments. For example, you can see the number of public comments is way higher than the number of internal comments. Here you'll see the number of tickets updated, created, and solved by date and the comparison between them. In the last report, you'll get information about the number of comments made by each agent. The unsolved tickets tab allows us to debrief unsolved tickets. You can see the number of unsolved tickets, new and open tickets, unreplied unsolved tickets, time since update median, and tickets age median. This graph shows us the unsolved tickets divided by status. And on the right, you can see new and open tickets divided into the assigned and unassigned ones. This graph is similar to the ones we saw before. It also relies on a chosen filter. For example, unsolved tickets by tickets channel. In this report, you'll see unsolved tickets by the month they were created. And on this table, we can see the number of unsolved tickets, unsolved tickets time since updates, and unsolved tickets age for each agent. We can also see it for each group. On backlog, we have three reports. 
The first one is weekly historical backlog by status in the last 30 days. The second one is the same as the first one, but it refers to the last 12 weeks. The third and last graph allows us to see all the open tickets in the last 12 weeks by different filters of your choice, such as group, channel, or priority. Our next tab is satisfaction. See the satisfaction score, the good satisfaction tickets, bad satisfaction tickets, bad to good ratings, and satisfactions rated. On the left, you'll see tickets divided into good and bad, with and without comments. On the right is the rated tickets funnel. Here we will see the percentage of surveyed and rated tickets. The next report shows us satisfaction scores and rated tickets by date. This one shows us satisfaction score by different parameters, such as channel, form, or group. Satisfaction score and rated tickets by months. And the last one shows us the comparison between survey tickets and rated ones by month. Our last tab for today is SLAs. See SLA achievement rate, SLA breach tickets, SLA achieve tickets, SLA active tickets, and SLA active breach tickets. This report shows us achieved versus breach completed SLA policies by date. The next one shows us the same thing by different parameters, such as group, form, or channel. Here you'll see SLA breaches by hours and here by day of week. Achieved versus breached SLA target by metric. For example, you can see the request away time causes the most SLA breaches. And our last report for today shows us SLA target achievement rate by month. We've reached the end of this lesson. I hope you got all the information you need. Thank you for watching.